Good morning, everybody. This is how my Wednesday went, and big shout out to my friend Stephanie. Today is her birthday. Happy birthday, Steph. So I realized that I forgot to eat this brie that's been in my fridge, and I wanna make sure that it doesn't go to waste, so I'm gonna make some tuna salad. I'm using two cans of tuna, and then I'm going to add in some mayonnaise. In order to like try to keep the calories low, I've measured out a half a cup of mayo. I really wanted to put more because it did seem still a bit dry, but I'm trying to behave. So I kept it with just a half a cup and I'm gonna add in seasoning to help with the flavor. So a little sea salt and pepper, some hot red pepper flakes, of course, and some onion flakes. Also this everything bagel seasoning gives it a really nice flavor as well. So for the next few days, I thought we would do some cold lunches. That way I can eat some of this brie and we'll have tuna fish, maybe some other cheeses, some mixed nuts. You could also do like olives or if you have some deli meat at home, um, these little snack plates are fun to make and they are delicious. So now we have tuna salad prepped and that can go in the fridge and I'm also thawing out some meat for dinner. After video editing, I took the girls on a walk. Now Sammy can walk pretty far, but Claire likes to lay around and just look at nature. So we did that for a little bit. And then I brought them both home and I went on a longer walk without Sammy this time because it is pretty hot out. Oh, good. Hi, baby. I'll probably do that next workout from Insanity Max 30 um, from the Beach Body On Demand just because I'm already sweaty, so I might as well. And my body's feeling surprisingly pretty good. I'm not too sore from yesterday, probably because I've been doing some workouts and hit workouts on my own prior to starting this. So I think that really helped out. I'm just gonna relax like 20 more minutes, watch some TV and just cool off a little bit. And then, and then I'll work out. I was having a hard time loading the workouts onto the TV here with the Amazon Fire Stick. And as much as I want the big TV, no excuses, the computer works as well. You can definitely see more of my problem areas here. Definitely got some loose skin under the arms, which is totally normal when you're losing a lot of weight. Got those bat wings and also a lot of fat and like some loose skin in the armpit area. But I don't let the unknown of what my body's gonna look like in the end stop me from losing weight because in the end, we just wanna be healthy no matter what. The push-ups in these workouts were starting to get pretty hard on my knees. So I just went ahead and started doing them on the countertop. You still get the same range of motion and I still feel it in my muscles. And yeah, it's just lesser impact, so definitely recommend doing something like that. Day two, complete of Insanity Max 30. Let me catch my breath here. It's super hard and, um, you know, we're all different ages, we're all different activity levels. So don't feel like if you do any of these workouts that you have to do it exactly how they do it. They always usually have someone doing like a modified version, copy that, or just, you know, go at your own pace too. So I am by all means, not keeping up with how many they're doing. I stop a lot of times and just take a rest and then start up again. Ugh.
we are all uh, in the same boat here, just trying to get healthy, just trying to lose weight. Any amount of workout you're doing, even if it's just walking, is fantastic. So keep it up, just get some activity in every day and you are gonna keep that positive mindset going. All right, it's dinner time and we're doing another mini meal prep. I put three cups of cauliflower rice into this pan, just straight from frozen, and I add seasoning, um, of course, hot red pepper, and then some sea salt, and I cook it up really good just to get all that water out. And I'm gonna use up this sauce. So we tried it the other day with that uh, Miracle Noodles, and it was really good. And now we're gonna try to figure out how much sauce to use. So I've like kind of divided the cauliflower rice up into four sections, so I know I'm gonna use four servings of the rice, so I used four servings of the sauce. And even though I'm not logging, it just kind of helps me determine, you know, how much to eat, so I'm not overdoing it. So the meats I thought out were a one whole ribeye that's been cut into three sections, and I also thought out some kibasa. So I'm just seasoning with some garlic salt and pepper on both sides. And while that is cooking, I am going to go ahead and cut up this um, uncured kielbasa from Costco. It's kind of like a sausage. I'm just spreading it on the pan and I'm going to put it in the oven at 350 degrees for 30 minutes. The meats are turned over on their sides just so I can get the fat part of it cooked. And then I'm adding some Worcestershire sauce. I just love the taste that it gives. Um, it does give off a lot of steam so make sure you have your vent on. So our cauliflower rice invention here is done. Uh, it just stayed on the stove heating up and it came out really good. So I divided that into four sections. Of course, we got our three steaks. For dinner, I'm having uh, one portion of the steak with the cauliflower rice. And then this bowl is gonna be for the sausages when they're done cooking. cauliflower rice came out really delicious it had a nice herby flavor and yeah it, the texture kind of reminded me of like quinoa or couscous so our kielbasa is done and it came out so good nice and crispy so we're gonna go ahead and put a portion of that into that other dish that we had going with the rice and then this dish will get the rest of it and that way I can pair it up later in the future with something else or maybe some eggs of course a taste test mm. and then all of it's gonna go into the fridge these meals were simple and came out so delicious, so I look forward to eating them. I have a feeling the girls wanted a taste test as well. Oops. Well, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.